Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Hello everybody, I'm Tracy Carlos. Cleveland police are investigating inappropriate social media posts from one of its officers. Police say Officer Ishmael Koran is currently on administrative duty while Internal Affairs looks into the matter. The president of Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association said the tweets in question are from more than 10 years ago. News 5 has learned that he was Officer of the Year in 2019. Coventry Village in Cleveland Heights hosted its third annual Juneteenth celebration today. The event featured vendors from more than 80 black owned businesses. There were performances from musicians around the country. The Safer Heights organization also raised nearly $6,000 along with a match from Cuyahoga Arts and Culture to pay local artists to paint murals live on site during the event. And Ramesha doing anything outside today was certainly not a problem. Yes, we were rewarded with gorgeous conditions, pleasant temps, low humidity, plenty of sunshine, no major wind. So it was just a great time to be outside on our Father's Day and Juneteenth. Just as nice tonight, you will notice the clouds if you look up getting a little thicker, but we should stay dry. Temps dipping to the upper 50s, wind switching to the south around 5 to 10 miles per hour. We've got a warm front that will lift over us for Monday. That means temps are getting cranked up to the low 80s, likely for Cleveland, likely middle 80s, a little bit farther south. That front may trigger a few rain showers tomorrow, but I'm not expecting any strong or severe storm activity. But that front will usher in the 90s near record heat for Tuesday as we kick off summer. A few thunderstorms and more heat for Wednesday. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.